All right, in these videos, I'm gonna show you how to connect to a real universal robot controller using Machina, all right? Um, I will not be able to show you how to connect to a simulation environment because unfortunately, the simulation environment that comes with universal robots, URSIM, you have to install it in a virtual machine and you cannot really simulate the whole network communication. So Machina cannot connect to that environment. So you have to use a real one, all right? Um, the setup that I have right now is that I have my laptop and I have this USB dongle that you can see here. It's an USB dongle that gives me ethernet connection. And I'm using that ethernet connection to connect to a network router. I don't know if you can see it in the camera here. And the network router is also connected uh, with another Ethernet cable, both on the ports, not on the um, on the modern world connection, both on the port, is connected to the controller box. All right. Um, if you go to the um, configuration setup of the universal robot here in the Flex Pendant, you will be able to access an area that is called network. And in that network, you will have some options on what the IP of the robot is going to be within the local network that you are creating, all right? You can connect in many different ways to that network. You can connect through Wi-Fi, which is not recommended when you use robots, uh, or you, connect, you can connect wirelessly. And the network communication can work in very different things. You can rely on, let me look this up, where this is. Mm. Um, all right. All right, I can. All right. Here in network, you have two options. You have DHCP, in which um, it's an option in which whenever you connect the robot to a router, like the one that I have here, it is the router who decides what the IP of the robot is going to be in the network. Okay? It's usually going to be the same one, but sometimes it may change. So there's a lot of people who choose to go for an alternative set of communication in which they set the network method to be static. And in that method, you have to manually enter all the parameters of what your network communication is going to be. But once you have that done, you know that the IP of the robot is always going to be the same, all right? Um, whichever method you choose, it doesn't really matter because if you go to the options of the robot and if you go to the about air section you can always in this menu here universal robots about you can see the ip of the robot at any given moment in the local network whether if it is through dhcp or static or whatever all right so that's the ip that we're going to need in order to talk to the robot through machina okay and a really quick a really quick test to see if my computer is correctly connected to the network and is seeing and can communicate with that robot is by pinging the robot from my computer, okay? In order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a command prompt. So that's the equivalent of a terminal in Mac. And here in my command prompt, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type ping and I'm going to type the IP of the robot that I'm seeing here in the about so for my robot in particular, it's going to be 192.168, which is probably going to be the same for you, then zero, and then the last number is probably the one that's going to change. In my computer is one, in my robot is 101. As I do this, you can see that the, my laptop is sending packages to the robot, the robot is receiving them and bouncing them back. So that means that there is a successful communication between them both and that I am ready to be able to start talking to the robot with the Machina bridge, all right? So I'm just gonna close this. And then on the bridge, in order to connect to the robot, I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna choose here a universal robot that I wanna connect to. I want to stick here to user manager. And here on the IP, I'm gonna type that IP that I just that I just checked, right? That's gonna be 192.168.0.101. I don't care about the port and as I hit connect, it's going to take a little bit, but then I can see some confirmation that the Machina interface connected correctly to the machine. And I'm in. I can start doing things. So I can start like moving the robot 
100 millimeters about down I can I can close the gripper I can open the gripper I can rotate the robot around the y-axis minus 90 degrees and I can move it up another 100 units and I can set the axis back to a home position with it which in this robot is 0 minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 90 and 90 and as I do that the robot is going to go back to a home position right is it well it should but it's not doing it for some reason All right, something's going wrong, but it should do that in whenever you try, as soon as I fix this, okay? <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, well, I actually just disconnected, connected again, and it worked, and I moved it back home. But what I forgot to mention is that now that the bridge is connected and that I can stream actions to the robot and that everything is working fine, now the bridge is ready also to act as the middleman between the robot and any other application in your, ro in, your, in your machine to communicate in real time. Like for example, Grasshopper, Dynamo, Python, Processing, JavaScript, whatever you want. If you go to the main repository, there are applications for all those platforms. So you're welcome to use the bridge as a way to communicate in real time with the device. All right, thank you very much.